So this is game number five in the derby between Gra and TM. We're watching from the point of view of Gra, and again, as expected, no lineup changes. Now, I really want to see Gra just go balls against the wall, drive forward without stopping and overwhelming TM, or at least attempting to overwhelm TM. I don't think we're going to see that, but they are getting increasingly cocky with each game, I would say, with their positioning. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're getting a little bit more reckless, both of them. Uh, it looks like neither one really has a very strong strategic advantage over the other, uh, which kind of isn't very surprising considering they practice together, strategy kind of goes out the window, and you either get a landslide where one team outmaneuvers the other and slaughters everybody, or they just bash into each other and you find out who plays better. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to see them pushing up very fast and very far here, stopping just around... Oh no, Nuclear does go forward to his usual place, but TM are not copying the strategy that they use every time they're in the southern position and they're not taking the forward place. International was spotted very early. That's very unusual for the first tank to be spotted to be an AMX. Normally you see the uh, T69 first or one of the IS-3s, or obviously, or one of the T1s. But the AMX 5100s, they're the playmakers. They're the tanks you don't normally see until the play is being made, and if they're spotted early, it kind of reveals your hand. Okay, that's where they're committing to, because that's where your damage is. That's exactly right. Um, sometimes, if you know your spot, you can actually pull out, readjust, come in someplace else, but that's a, that's a pretty big risk, because once the other team knows where their 5100s are, it's very likely they're going to get moving. Here's the 69 moving in the cap. All he's got is one T1 in his way. And he has uh, poked round again, and this time he's avoided the fight with Monastery. Every other game they've fought in the middle first before doing anything else. Um, I guess that's kind of like a blood match between these two players. Um, obviously being the equal number uh, on the other side. Now we're seeing a change in tactic, and Kalento is the only one who's been seen, and they want to keep it that way, because if another tank is spotted on the east, that will be a clear indicator for Gra to readjust their strategy, but Monastery is chasing down Kalento, knowing that he's got no cover down there, The April is trying to get in the way to save a shell for Kalento, or is he? I'm... No, he's just going to go down. The April does go down. Kalento's aiming at Monastery, but one more shell left in Monastery's... Uh... Oh, Arsenal he does connect! Um, Kalento though has an open fire, that's his first shot and isn't going to be able to do any damage to Monastery whatsoever and that was an unfair uh, fight in the favour of Gra. The, a bit silly there for Kalento, running away, letting Monastery just do the damage or was that a smart move? Uh, that was, that was a, absolutely a bad move, he needed to stay exactly where he was. Running down the 7 line is not going to help me. True confirm going on over here though. Yeah, we do have the conflict on the other side. And Armalee getting focused down by Lucille. He's going to have another shot and takes him down. Rhino and Nuclear goes forward, but someone in the rear. Monastery and Nurigra take down um, the MX-5100 by International. Dynamo now is caught out on his own, and he's going to go down very quickly. And Minx has already fired his shots and ran away. So Dynamo is going to go down now. 7 HP, waiting for the reload. Nuclear, Monastery was going for the ram, clearly on reload as well. And... This is already decided. There's nothing they can do, um, TM, apart from try for the cap. They've got one guy in there, a minute 20 on the clock. They're not going to get this in time. Asunder's already on his way back. Rhino is just shot off um, into Kalento, runs into Nuclear 2. He's only got 467 left. That's another three shots at most, too likely. And Kalento, bang, 407. Great roll from Rhino. And Nariga takes a shot to the face. Another one. Actually, Nariga is going to go down. Oh, he's saved by his teammate at the last second. Lucille shooting right past him and saving his ass. Because I really thought he was going to go down then. Yeah, uh, it definitely looked like it. Now, what happened there for TM is they pushed into the city square over there in E2 just to separate, which is something we've seen from several times. You see one tank move in, he gets shot by a couple guys. The other guy moves in, he gets shot by a couple guys. And then the rest of their team shows up, but you've already lost. You have such a huge hit point disadvantage. You've got to play very well, and the other team absolutely has to make a mistake for you to come back. Yep, and that was the end of that. Gra versus Gra TM, heavily one-sided. Gra showing why they don't have the TM after their name. And um, <laughs> destroying the... I guess the only way to describe it is that TM were just out-decided. The, the strategy and meta for both teams 
Grab was always half a step ahead or able to intimidate the other team into making mistakes. Like as you said, TM twice had the positional advantage and twice threw that away with Gra able to push out. It was almost like the commander from TM were like, right, we can't possibly have the advantage. They're too good. Let's not take advantage of what clearly is our advantage. Does that make sense? Definitely. Whatever Gra did, they did together. And that was really what made the difference. TM had a lot of good moves, a lot of high strategy that should have won them a couple matches there. But they did it separated, and they just handed the game straight back to Gra. Yeah. So that was really good to watch. Our next game, as you can see on the schedule, will be starting in half an hour. Uh, Synergy versus Red Rush Unity. I'm going to continue with the um, video playlist for you guys, so stick around, enjoy the games from, uh, I think it was Gravis' Rush, and we will uh, see you soon.